Tonight we're pulling together new information on a terrifying scene at a Chuck E. Cheese restaurant in St. Charles County. One man suffered multiple gunshot wounds. Two suspects are still on the loose. News Channel 5's Gary Scythe is on the scene with the latest. And Anna and Mike, you know, this area is known very well by folks out here in St. Charles County. We're just south of I-70 between Zumbel and First Capital. Used to be a big lot next door to, say, uh, to Chuck E. Cheese's. Before that, it was a Kmart. Now, it's basically abandoned except for the Chuck E. Cheese's. Uh, but let me tell you about what happened last night. Witnesses say the altercation started inside with the shooting occurring in the entryway to the store where a no weapon sign is prominently displayed. The victim was shot as many as three times before he was able to flee into the parking lot. The suspects pursued with additional shots being fired in the parking lot. The suspect was taken last night into an area hospital where he was initially listed in serious condition and that condition has not changed as of 3 p.m. That's per the St. Charles Police Department. They also say they're looking at security video being reviewed today. Now, Chuck E. Cheese's is, the corporation uh, wouldn't speak to us on camera. They're headquartered out of Dallas. They wouldn't handle stuff like this. Uh, we also did get information from uh, Detective Sergeant Todd Wilson from the St. Charles Police Department, and he said that with the quality of the video, they're hopeful that they can make some strong leads in this continuing investigation. Live in St. Charles County, Gary Scythe, News yeah, Channel 5. The is for learning that a woman has been arrested in connection with the shooting at a Chuck E. Cheese's earlier this week in St. Charles. According to arrest documents, 20-year-old Asian Clay was involved in an argument with her child's father at the restaurant Monday night. Prosecutors say she told an armed man to come to the restaurant. Moments later, the father was shot. He did survive. Police have not arrested the shooter.